Hello! Welcome back. Oh yes, we're going back to Bacano, everyone. Where are we now? Bacano 12? Yeah, since this is the fifth to the last episode, uh, again, this is a completed series. All the scenes that we saw in episode 1 finally connects, uh, even though there's three diff separate years and three separate events, but majority of the characters are the same. So let's do it chronologically. Uh, in 1930, again, we're gonna do a recap um, in the, what's the update so far. So 1930, Zillard quakes out of, I think, desperation, went and confronted Misa. Again, he really wants that cure-all elixir. So Maiza is in trouble right now. 1931, uh, Chane is fighting Lad, but Vino interrupted their fight. And then now Vino is fighting Lad. But uh, since we were in this year, uh, says Law Mayor, oh my god, that kid, I wish like he did, he did not drink the elixir when he's that age at that time. I wish he kept it and then when he got old enough, like 20s or maybe 30s, then he can drink the elixir. So he's strong, he's not so vulnerable. Because look at... Ah, uh, Vino is torturing him. But anyways, finally, 1932, the head of the Runorto family, Don Baltro, he now found out that the Gander family is immortal, or at least he found out their secret. He came down to their base desperately want to find Dallas, but let's get on with it, shall we? All right, episode 12. All right, three, two, one, go. So I guess these two, Miria and uh, Isaac, they drank that <laughs> two bottles of Cure All Elixir. So they're actually like pure immortal then? Like they don't have that side effect um, of aging? Oh.
they all went. Nobody stayed to guard the... Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh Oh, that's why she broke her leg. Oh, okay. Yeah, but they're, yeah, they're gonna see they're immortal now, I, I guess. Yeah, she knows. Yeah. I wonder if the Gender family are immortals at this point. Maybe not yet. Oh. Well, he doesn't know. No. Well, this is 1930, so he's gonna be alive. Yeah. He's not gonna. Be, he's not gonna die here. Ooh.
Okay. Oh, so it says, look, okay, so I figured, yeah, he, he ate him. He's so freaking a psycho. Oh my God, what happened to him? Oh my God. Wow. It doesn't seem he doesn't, yeah, it doesn't seem that way. I can understand where you're coming from. He was saved by them. Okay, wow. All right. Good for this guys, man. This is 1931. They dragged the, the elixir 1930. What am I doing? He just found his match, lad. Uh oh
Wow! Jesus Christ. She's also immortal. Gander families. Oh, so they're already immortal in this. In, isn't it? Okay. Uh, ah, oh, my, oh, that's why. That's why um he's missing his uh arm. It's not romantic at all. I don't know. Oh, bomb! Jesus Christ! The thing? What thing? Oh! That thing! Oh! 
off. Nice. Whoa. She's strong. Oh, never mind. Oh, god fucking damn. What? He saved them. Oh, nice. Uh oh. Yeah, he's fire. Oh. <laughs> Pull! <laughs> yeah, exactly! Venus just casually holding in it. <laughs> yeah, Venus is not just killing anyone. Only the ones that... Don't ask. Yeah, and then the Gander family is already immortal, I guess. 1930, yeah. Yeah. Karma. Oh no. It Wow. Okay. Come on, Ines. Wake up. Wake up. Oh, we know that he's g she's gonna be with Miza and the rest anyways. Okay. So, <laughs> my mistake earlier. <laughs> I was... I, I don't know why I was surprised when Isaac on, on the train, 1931, Isaac is immortal. And I didn't put two and two together. Of course, of course, they're the only immortal in the train other than Seslo, Miria, and Isaac. Duh! Yeah, because 1930 they already drank the thing. The elixir. The whole bottle. Both of them. So they're, they're both immortals. I guess on that train they already know. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah. Remember that? So, I, it's funny. It's karma where... On the early episodes, I forgot which episode, but Ines is driving the car, driving uh, Zillard to to the to the office, and then he they accidentally hit Miria and Isaac on the road by accident because they're 
frolicking around the on the road. And then, and then now they they hit Zillard by accident as well. They didn't even know that he's gonna jump out of the window. But okay. Uh well and then also we know that Gander family is not dead. So that means they're already immoral at this point. 1930. Huh. Except for Firo. Firo is not immortal yet. I wonder if Firo is like um, a relative uh, with the with the boss, the Martillo, Mar Martillo family. I don't know. But oh, there's so much, so many things. So now everything connects to the yeah. Lad and Lua were together. Lad lost his arm, and yeah, they they were they landed on a desert uh, somewhere. Yeah, and then we know what happened to them. Or what's gonna happen to them afterwards? And then Vino <laughs> rescued Isaac and Miria. Seslo was rec rescued by Isaac. But Seslo, oh my gosh. That's so terrible what happened to him. Oh my gosh. But yeah, justice serve. He ate him. This is a bizarre series, but um, I love it. <laughs> and uh, that's good for Rachel to save uh, the senator's wife and her kid and then Nietzsche and the brother, I forgot the brother's name but who? what's gonna happen? I guess I feel like the train, yeah of course the, we're coming coming at the end of the, the the trip for the train so I don't know what's gonna happen on that but I'm excited to see four more episodes to go but we're just gonna end it here, guys, for now. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. All right, see ya. Bye!